guys, this is Cocoponics. It's now April something, mid-April. Uh, as you can see, things have changed a little bit in here on the aquaponics. Uh, you can see the styrofoam is white now. I went through last week and I cleaned all the mold growth off of this surface uh, because it was still transferring onto the leaves of my plants. Uh, here's one that's still got a little bit on the leaves. So, a little bit of blackness on there. I'm going to come back through and cut all these, uh, the old growth off because the uh, new growth is still coming in healthy and happy. Uh, you can see I've got berries on here that are coming in. A couple that are uh, doing alright. Got a lot of new growth uh, from when I came through and trimmed everything off. Uh, today's more of an update video show that everything is coming in pretty good. Uh, I've had some issues with insects, uh, slugs, some small uh, green bugs. I have a lot of flies and bees in here. They kind of get trapped in the greenhouse this time of year. Uh, as far as the slugs go, they were eating some of the berries. Let's see if I can find one real quick that has some uh, scarring on it. So I don't know if you can see this. You can see the surface of the berry is a little imperfect in this area. Anyway, that's, I believe, is from the slugs that were in the system. I came through, pulled every single plant out, and washed the root system out, which is something that's convenient about aquaponics, is you can, or hydroponics for that matter, you can pull your plants out, kind of wash them off, and get your, uh, insects cleared out of your system and get a fresh start. Uh, something you cannot do with conventional gardening. You have to add pesticides and all that crap. Uh, I did recently start getting more views on my videos and I got a question, uh, actually my first question uh, on any of my videos and that was, uh, the question was I planted bare root strawberries and I noticed some fuzz on the the berries on, on the strawberries itself uh, the, the plant not the fruit and this is just kind of an update to show that yes you do get fuzz naturally on your plants Let's see if I can get a good little view of that so you can see on the stalk of the plant there's small hairs. Those are normal. And I did get a little bit of a video of the strawberries that are growing in the ground to kind of show that it's normal on both strawberries that are grown in the dirt and also strawberries that are grown in aquaponics in a greenhouse. Uh, the reason I got so much mold in this system is simply because of it being in a greenhouse. It's super humid in here and if you do not have proper ventilation you'll get all kinds of stuff growing that you don't want. Uh, so I keep a fan going at all times except for when I'm doing these videos. But uh, yeah, this is just to answer that question for you that you, that you asked. Uh, little hairs on your plants are normal. Uh, not for all plants, but strawberries in general, yeah, they have little hairs growing throughout the whole plant. Uh, even on the underside of the leaves. So it grows up the stalk, underside of the leaves will have small hairs on it, the top of the leaves also have less hairs and they're super fine. Uh, your concern was uh, about mold growth, I think, uh, when you saw the fuzz on your plants. As long as it doesn't look anything like this, you know, the, the other thing is that this mold will wipe off. So as long as your stuff is healthy, you're not overwatering it, you have proper ventilation if you're inside a greenhouse, you will not have to worry about mold. 
So, I hope that helped. Alright, I found this uh, strawberry on one of my plants over here. I'm going to go ahead and give it a taste. It looks almost done. It's a little light on this side, but it's dark on this side. It should have plenty of flavor to it. Yeah, it's starting to get sweet. Probably could have gone another couple days and uh, got a little bit sweeter, but it's actually pretty good. Tasty. It's a big berry. Uh, yeah, these strawberry plants didn't really start producing really well until about the second year. So, if you are just planting, don't expect a whole lot from your plants your first year. Uh, that being said, I've never grown from bare root. I've always bought my plants uh, already growing, transplanted them into the ground or into this. And then all my newer plants I get from the runners from these. Uh, I don't know if in my last video I, I explained how I got to this many plants uh, in here and also outdoors. Uh, I originally started with only about 25 plants and over the last three years I've expanded up to about a thousand strawberry plants simply from propagating the runners that come off of my plants. Uh, so as the runner comes out, I let it root, cut the vine that connects them, and it becomes its own plant, and they just multiply and multiply and multiply. So if you plan on growing strawberries for a long time, don't waste your money going out and buying hundreds of plants. You only need to start with a few, and they'll multiply out by themselves. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Hit subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, be sure to leave a message below. Uh, any input you give me is much appreciated. Hit that thumbs up. It really helps me to continue making content. And remember, always keep dreaming for your future. You are capable of doing whatever it is you dream of.